Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to back up your iPad Pro to the computer. So first step is if you have a Windows computer, you need to download iTunes. You can skip this step if you have a Mac. So just head over to apple.com forward slash iTunes. This is made by Apple. It's a completely safe download. Once you're here, you can download from the Microsoft Store if you must. However, I recommend you scroll down even more. You're going to see looking for other versions, click on this Windows button and you'll be able to download iTunes from uh, Apple directly with this button right here. This is what I recommend personally. Regardless of where you download iTunes, make sure that you download it and once it's downloaded, install it onto your computer and after the install is completed, restart your computer. Alright, once we've done that, we now need to connect our iPad Pro to the computer. So use your charging cable and insert one end of the charging cable into your iPad Pro and then the other end into the computer. If for whatever reason you cannot connect, uh, you know, uh, one of the ends of your charging cable into your computer, you may need to get an adapter which converts, let's say, USB Type A into USB Type C or USB Type C into USB Type A. So just keep that in mind mind so once you have connected your ipad pro to the computer make sure you go to the home screen of the ipad pro so unlock it and you may get a message which says trust this computer if you do enter in your passcode make sure you tap on trust in order for you to be able to back up your ipad pro to the computer now on the mac you're going to load up the finder app on windows we load up itunes okay so let's load this up and once we load up the app here you're going to see at the top my iPad shows up on the side on the Finder app. You may need to scroll down, you will see your device show up as well. If you're in a situation where your device is not showing up in either iTunes or the Max Finder app, you will need to restart your device, then try again. And when I say restart your device, I mean both the iPad Pro and your computer. Okay, so if we get this software update message, we'll just tap on cancel, and so we will select our iPad Pro here. And all you're going to do is you're going to see here, back up and make sure that uh, this computer is selected. And so what this will do is every time you have your iPad Pro connected to the computer, it will automatically back up. If you want to back up everything, including passwords, health and home kit data, a ticket, encrypt local backup, it will ask you to create a passcode. I recommend something simple as 1111 because if you ever forget this passcode, that means that you will never be able to create a backup using your iPad Pro on a computer again. So just keep that in mind. So just make this simple 1111. I want something like that. Okay, if you want a encrypted backup on, that's up to you. If you don't want an encrypted backup on, you don't need to have this checked. And once you're ready to make the backup, you just click on backup now keep in mind this may take a couple of hours because it's going to back up all of the files on your ipad pro it's going to back it all up locally okay so this may take quite a while wait for it to complete and if you want to restore the backup in the future tap on restore backup one thing to keep in mind is you can only restore backups for devices which ran uh, the, uh, a current firmware you're on or any older firmware okay so if your ipad pro let's say runs a newer software then your iPhone, well then you would have to update your iPhone to the latest software in order to restore the iPad backup on your iPhone. So if that makes sense, hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so the latest version is 15.4.1. If my uh, iPad Pro was running 15.4.1, but my iPhone 13 Pro Max was running uh, iOS uh, 13 point, you know, 3.1, then you'd have to upgrade to 15.4.1 in order to use the backup. So that's how it works, right? So once the backup's done, you're good to go. Nothing more you need to do on your end. So with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.